Hola chicos, ¿cómo están el día de hoy acá en Chagalán? Chicos, volvemos a nuestro juego de eh, Vampir Y nos vamos a, a preparar una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis y siete Porque había uno del otro pueblo que era el cura que estaba con agotamiento también eh, Deberían ser ocho, pero tengo también tengo tres o sea, Cuatro, cinco, eh, y voy a repartir los, los remedios Tengo que hablar con la tipa que está acá Ahora no Seis mil de experiencia es mucho Eso va a ser harta experiencia You need my assistance. Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. Thank you for your time. No me ven la operación muy, muy seguida, me. Que debería yo dar más. Ahí está la inicial. Está afuera, ahora. Bueno. Good evening, doctor. Do you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? No. I don't feel well, actually. Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Ya con eso tengo dos. Ahora me faltan. Me quedo dar cuenta de que, como les dije, el tipo. Harvey. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening. Is there anything else? Really? Unfortunately. Voy a evitarme las charlas de. Goodbye for now, Mr. Por lo menos esas charlas de entregar la medicina. Vamos a ver. Ya, ya más o menos sé a quién tengo que. Darle o no darle la wea. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening. Soldier. Not right. As long as you remain here. Don't think. Goodbye for now. Ahora, no sé por qué hago este gesto caritativo, la verdad, porque no sé... Ya saben que... Ya sabemos, por mejor dicho, que... Eh, van a constantemente ir cambiando estas cosas, o sea, no es algo que... Que vaya a parar, la gente se puede seguir resfriando, se puede seguir enfermando... Y bla bla bla, o sea... Good evening. Do you need any ma- I'm afraid. Our job is- Goodbye, Milton. Ahora, mi función es tratar de llevar al pueblo sano. Tratar. Entonces... Falta ahí. Me falta él, pero... Aún lo desconozco, no sé quién es. Good. Do you require? I... No. Ah. Goodbye. Now. Entonces ya con eso debería el pueblo estar más o menos sano, menos el, menos. Estamos todos sanos menos el que no sabemos quién es. Bueno. No tenemos un detalle alguno de nada, <coughs> nada de lo así que bueno. Eh... Ah, 
Aha. Hay alguien ahí. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. We are vampires. We live by leeching the blood from weaker prey. We are Darwin's next chapter. His cynical and perhaps ultimate expression. The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmail. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed. Permanently. You will not be bothered anymore by the woman. And who was this woman? If you must know, she worked under my employ as Nurse Crane. But I'll wager that's not what will be written on her gravestone. You killed her? Is that what you consider discretion and diplomacy, Dr. Reed? I did what I thought was best, and acted according. You will learn that trust is a rare and precious commodity in the Immortals' world, my young doctor. And your actions have not induced me to offer you my support. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Hey, you know. Is this some kind no, of insanity? Como que no, no it feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush! Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we... Ah. Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Ekon. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... but a branch of the immortal tree. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. 
So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. And who bestowed... My maker. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here, in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well-trained. Though I can't be certain, more than lightly it was the once glorious guard of Prewen. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society, and like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. 
Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. I bid you farewell, for now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Jadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Jadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean, you used to be a doctor? Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear, or at least have a respect, for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. How did you get this job after I left the army? I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main walk was still open. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now. Tell me the truth about your appointment as a medic during the war, Rakesh. The regiment administration appointed me by mistake. I had to learn the job on the spot, sir. Very hard, sir. But I rose to the challenge. <sighs> Do you realize how many soldiers died because of that decision? You should have refused. Yes, sir. I swear I did, sir. But no one listened. When the first wounded arrived, I had to do what I could. It is an unbelievable story, Mr. Chidana. It was a time beyond belief, Dr. Reed. But I'm happy not to deal with the wounded. I prefer caring for the dead now. You can't impersonate a doctor. You can't improvise a medical education. People could die at your hands. You're absolutely right, sir. But as a field surgeon, it was more like being a butcher. Do you believe you have really helped these people? 
My ratings were within the averages of the regiment. I saved lives, Dr. Reed. Does that not say enough about triage and war surgery? A pawnbroker? I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic, even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember? And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade, I exchange. Some people sell, some others buy. I like to help. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short, and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes. But the good news is, we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. So you're ready to die? No, I am not. I don't fear death, for I won't see it. What troubles me is the pain my death will inflict to those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chidana. No, Dr. Reed. I am a foolish man. But I like to think otherwise. Please, of course. Tomorrow, more bodies will arrive and then... Good evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical... Well, the pro Don't... And that is a good thing. Death and disease is a constant reminder of our mortality. Goodbye, Mr. Ch Entonces, ya no, o sea, se le dio un medicamento, se está recuperando, se está recuperando, se está recuperando, se está recuperando, todos se están recuperando, eh, y de aquí... De, de aquí, bueno, ese es, esto va a ser una posición de agotamiento. Por lo menos en este va a ser puso bastante dirigido. Amaze me how you, the dead. O sea, aquí ya no hay nada, supuestamente. Estamos. Estas son, son jeringas para, para curarte rápidamente, ¿ok? Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Tengo que hablar... Tengo que hablar con... Ahora fijémonos acá, ok. Todo completo. Ah, no. Ya maté a Dorothy Crane. Ya, esa fue una de las cosas que yo decidí. Eso es bien. 
Ahora, yo tal vez tiene alguna repercusión, no tengo idea. Tal vez le hubiera ayudado a borrar su... Sí, matarla. Ahora este es el... Este es el... ¿Qué arte es este? Es el... Este es eh, el capítulo 3 de la historia familiar. ¿sí? Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior more than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here, but it is spreading and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. And why not? What did Stoker say about the children of the night? Well, using my blood, I could create a whole army of vampires. Surely you're joking. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. Yo le dije que iba a convertir en ejército de vampiros. Eh, es el de iglesia, que me gustaría ir igual. Y este es el cementerio. Entonces no sé a dónde ir primero, la verdad. Porque podría ir a curar al... Al tipo este. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. I'll find and the truth about what happened to us. I swear. Yo voy a ir a entregarle esta weá al imbécil de mierda y ahí no voy a ir derecho a... Crush the leech! 
Solamente para probar que onda. Tal vez esta sea la casa donde está el tipo. Ojalá. Muchísimo. Muchísimo. O sea... Ahora fíjense la cantidad de sangre que... Que absorbo, weón. Bueno, es una brutalidad. Ahora la cantidad de regeneración que tengo es baja igual. Y eso que aumenté. Lo aumenté a nivel 3, o sea, no, tampoco es que lo, no lo haya aumentado. Mmm, raro. Ya, este es un callejero sin salida. Es raro porque... No... O sea, mi, mi recuperación, por decirlo de alguna forma, es más lenta... De lo que debería de ser. O sea, recupero una, una parte ínfima de mi vida. Antes recuperaba más de mi vida. Hoy en día ya no. Después tenéis que mejorar eso de la regeneración. Así que nada chicos, eso va a ser por el día de hoy. Ya saben, suscríbanse, dejen like, comenten el video, comparten el canal y los veo en el próximo episodio de Vampire.